then how to synthesize the interface between hardware and software component how to efficiently simulate hardware and software together and software analysis estimate cost of software in terms of time and power expenditure this is the proposed model now as we have seen this uh, complex digital system which is in terms of module and these are the sub blocks so here I have applied the graph theory and integer linear algebra to uh, decide this particular block is hardware or software. So in previous paper, there were trial and error methods to decide hardware and software, and based on that the performance is calculated. So in my methods, I had suggested the exact solution. This particular block is software or hardware with the help of graph theory and integer linear <coughs> algebra. Further. Once the mathematical modeling is done, I got the equation. That equation, say for example, uh, that equation y equal to summation i 0 to uh, the n x into h i plus summation i equal to 1 to n 1 minus x into s i. This equation is uh, rather optimized. Optimized in the sense that y is called as the performance and that performance, we are interested for high performance. So, whichever the dependent variables are there, that has to be maximized through optimization techniques and we got the high performance. So, after that, the, uh, this design is implemented on FPJ and further, once the performance it is met as per the constant, the final architecture it is designed. So, this is the proposed model. This is the research methodology. The initially, the initial assessment based on the performance, area, and power. Then few data it is collected. Then it is designed through mathematical modeling and uh, integer linear algebra. Then simulation I got it from the uh, FPJ, and finally it is tested, and finally I got the architectures. This are the work carried out. Hardware software partition method developed that has uh, been done through graph theory, mathematical modeling, then optimization algorithms. I have used the generic algorithms and this method I had applied to the different applications like AES, TKIP, and PNL. These are the cryptography where I had applied these techniques. Now, to uh, the contribution, now here. Uh, now we are talking about the performance. So initially this is the initial design where the performance is very less but as we are going for partitioning the performance is improved and further if we are applying the optimization al algorithms then the performance it is very high. Then uh, as we are seeing the module is classified in sub blocks. These are the sub blocks and this is derived in terms of cost. Now this cost might be the performance, might be the area or power and this is represented in terms of graph theory. These are the vertex and these are the edges. So here this is defining vertex <coughs> and edges. Now this first thing is the H0, S0, this is calculated. Now say for example, this initially what we will assume this, this particular block, three blocks we will consider this is hardware. Now, uh, once this is decided hardware, then with the help of this equation, that is this condition, H3n less than or equal to H0. So how one can calculate this H3n H0? For that, this is the uh, H3 equation, summation i to n h i. Here the weight it is calculated, H3 is S3. Similarly, H0 and S0 is calculated. Now, initially we have decided that this D blocks is hardware and if this condition is satisfied, H3 is less than or equal to H0, then that particular three blocks is hardware. Now here we are not going for any trial and error. If this condition is met, this will indicate that that three blocks is hardware. Similarly, remaining three blocks, if I have decided whether it is software and if this condition is matched, then that three blocks is software. If the condition is not matched, then that particular block is software. So like that the partitioning is done based on this 
इंटीजर लीनियर अल्जीब्रस नाउ आई हैव अप्लाइड दिस टेक्निक टू नेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन दैट इज फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन व्हिच इज एएस एप्लीकेशन एएस इंक्रिप्शन व्हिच इज एडवांस इंक्रिप्शन सिस्टम नाउ हियर देयर आर डिफरेंट एएस नाउ व्हाट इज दैट एएस now this is the part of security here the original information is there that information it is added with key and finally that information is called as encrypted string and that is sent to receiving end this are the receiving ends so here at the receiving end if the key is matched the original information is uh, detected or extracted if the key is not matched the original information is not detected so here there are different as 128 256 so in my problem i am using 128 as so this is the 128 as so your plain text is our information now in this case the plain text it is added with the key and since this is 128 that's why there are 10 rounds so over here 10 times it is rotating and the information finally the information Means the final thing is cipher text which consists of plain text plus key. So here it is mixed in such a way that no one can hack this information. So this part is implemented in software. Software in the sense using ARM processor. Now similarly, at the description end. The cipher text, which consists of plain text and the uh, information uh, and the key. Again, here if the key it is extracted, and finally we got the plain text. So again, this part it is implemented in software, means it is implemented on ARM. Now same thing, it is implemented in hardware also. The key and the information. So there are ten rounds. See, this is 128, and finally we got cipher text, which is uh, which consists of plain text as well as the key. This is the decryption part. Here, the original information it is extracted from the cipher text. These are the results. Now, this result it is in terms of power and linear. So here. The complete AES it is implemented using ARM and the percentage improvement is 90 percent. Similarly, in hardware the percentage improvement is 40 percent compared with the previous papers. And the hardware software code design the improvement is 22 percent. This is power. Similarly, the area improvement it is 5 percent. And for hardware software code design it is 30 percent. And these are the graphs for the power and area analysis of AES. And I have published a paper based on this also. Again, this is related with area and speed. And these are the Zynex technology view of this AES in terms of encryption and in terms of decryption. These are the outcome of that paper. <coughs> Help to understand the attack mechanism. And here the performance it is uh, performance and The power it is improved. Now in next paper, the performance analysis of AES same concept, and but only thing is the parameter is different. That is the performance. And again, uh, the paper it is published in IIT Delhi, Explore. <coughs> so here, um, these are the results on hyper terminals. This is the information, plain text information. 30, 31. These are the key, and the combination of key and plain text is called as cipher text. This is cipher text. We didn't get anything from cipher text, and the time required for this is 412 microsecond. Now, similarly, at the receiving end, we got the original information, that is decryption, and the decryption time is 580 microsecond. So, this is implemented using ARM 7. So this is complete uh, software part. Now same thing, it is implemented in hardware software code design. Now previously we have seen the time it is more. Now using hardware software code design, the time is less, and here the speed is improved. So again here the plain text and cipher text is there. 
and like that in same way but it is implemented using hardware software policy. These are the simulation results verified on uh, FPGs. These are the hardware software performance of EES using ARM 7 micro plus. <coughs> Again, this is the part of uh, software micro plus is the software processor. Then uh, this complete thing, it is decryption, encryption and the performance which is in megabit per second. Nowadays, whichever EES it is available, that available in terms of 40 bits per second and now here it is improved, the speed is improved. These are the performance, AS performance in software and AS performance in hardware software code design. And the outcome of this paper is to understand the attack mechanism, performance degradation due to different jamming and uh, here also the performance it is improved using hardware software code design. Next uh, application which is the TKIP. This TKIP is a part of IEEE 802.11i. This is uh, again this uh, part of security. Now here this TKIP it is uh, used in uh, Wi-Fi but if we compare TKIP with AS, the TKIP performance is less and here there is one Michael key which is 32 bit, 32 bit which is added with the information and finally we got encrypted message which is called as Cypertex. And based on this I have published the papers on this TKIP and I have applied the graph theory and uh, mathematical modeling. These are the simulation results for this TKIP and here again the performance it is calculated now this performance it is in terms of latency. So using hardware as we know hardware performance of the latency is good as compared to hardware software code design but uh, the hardware code software code design the performance and cost is moderate so here we are reaching near to this uh, 10 microsecond. <coughs> so this, really good. These are the outcomes of uh, this paper. Now next uh, part, next application which is PLL based two random number generator using genetic algorithm. Based on this, uh, I have submitted the paper in elsewhere and I got, uh, I am waiting for third review. The, in second review, the reviewer said that uh, it is ready to publish. Now what is this uh, TRNG, that is true random number generator. True random number generator which generates the numbers which does not repeat. And how one can expect this true random number generator that is done through PLL. Now here, the clock jitter is used and from this clock jitter, the true random number is generated. Now here also the very important th thing is how to improve the performance, the bandwidth of this uh, TRNG that is done through different parameters. So here bandwidth is defined. So output rate rate is very important part. And all this calculation uh, now here, the very important thing is when we are implementing genetic algorithms, the fitness function is very important terms. So here, if if the bandwidth is less, the fitness function is more. So all this parameter, which is called as dependent variables, that is minimize or maximize through genetic algorithms. And based on this, so here I have taken the Population size 20, crossover rate 0 0.5, 0.2 and these are the fitness values. So here after means in between 120 to 200 I got constant and this is required and these are the results. So here the frequency means 88.3 and the bandwidth is 5.5 MHz. This is implemented on Cyclone 3, B2 board. So 
here the frequency if we are comparing it is improved as compared to the previous paper. So the conclusion of uh, the research, the best on dark theory and linear integer algebra technique applied to different systems and the percentage improvement are AS in terms of power is 22%, in terms of area is 30%, the performance in, it is in terms of 20%. Now same thing when I, add, I apply to TTIP, the performance increment is 25%. And when I apply the optimization algorithm for TRG, TNL, the performance increment is 60%. The simulation intervention result of the individual computation shows that the various architecture for digital system to enhance performance, power and space, the, the hypothesis may be confirmed. These are the list of publications. So this, uh, this third one, this is waiting. Uh, this is published, uh, not published. I am waiting for the third review. That, that is uh, uh, submitted on International Journal of Science and Technology, elsewhere. This is the conference paper. This is published in IEEE Explore Conferences. These are the references. Thank you. Thank you. See, first, your literature survey says only 2009 2010. There is no work beyond that. After that, my basically, uh, I have started my research uh, in the year of uh, 2012. That's why I had referred the paper so, of 2000. You are doing in 16. You should look at the paper. See if there are you know, parallelly some work is going on. It would be nice, number one. Yeah, just an observation. Yes, we see that. Uh, because there could be some. Uh, so, I'll, as you see, you are trying three different applications. Yeah. Why? Why Why not one? I mean, you give it to FAKS, you give it to When you performance, if you compare, how, how does the compare? 60, 20, you just go to the last conclusion. Uh -huh. In terms of space and that, you know. How do we compare across? No, last, last, last one. Conclusion there, no? Compare with the previous papers. How do you? Is flat form same? The reference number 9 you have compared the result with this. Because in, in that paper, the using trial and error, there are some iterations, and based on that iteration, the partition is done and the performance is calculated. No, no, in my error, there should be some flat form. No? Okay, that method. Your method is better than that. Yeah. Why I'm saying because uh, I've done mathematical equation that is not done in previous papers. And based on that, I come to one conclusion that the, the performance is uh, in the Can I go to the last one? Go to the last one. Put it down. What does it mean? 60 percent improvement, 20 percent improvement? How do I compare these? Why this? Now these are all encryption. First one is encryption. First part already. And this is also encryption. Very independent thing. So yeah. we, you know, what we do is we can say, first part of the thesis can do this, second part can do this, third part can do this. Make them independent. Don't try to club all of them. Because okay. each one is an entity. Yes, yeah, that is independent. Your client is you use a graph theory. <laughs> yeah. You have a mechanism or algorithm by which you have hardware uh, software, you know, code design, code design. It should be your uh, So, you wrote some objectives in the beginning, try to correlate at the end that this is the okay. I think uh, you have implemented three algorithms. One is uh, mathematical modeling, then graph theory, and then optimization. Yeah. After three, all three uh, algorithms, all three algorithms you implemented in three different distributions. Okay. Out of, uh, yeah. and, uh, out of three algorithm, you are selecting or you are judging which is best algorithm. And, uh, and, 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 and that you are doing that uh, your methodical modeling is best algorithm. 
Okay, rather than graph theory, and that based algorithm again can be optimized with the um, optimization technique of generates. That's the idea, and then that sort of result you are taking on the different applications. But in the other case, that did not get like this. What you say? Yeah. yeah. That, that, that part is here. Uh, uh, Excuse. Yeah. That part is here. Yeah. If you have done three, and then say this is that's that is. Uh, you know, look at some papers also. Important there. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All the best.